Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a young boy named Max. Max was a curious and adventurous child, always eager to explore and discover new things. He lived in a small village at the edge of a vast forest, and he loved nothing more than spending his days wandering through the trees, listening to the birds singing and the leaves rustling in the breeze. One day, Max decided to venture deeper into the forest than he had ever gone before. He packed a small bag with some food and water, grabbed his trusty compass, and set off into the woods. As he walked deeper into the forest, Max became more and more enchanted by the beauty and mystery of the trees. He saw squirrels scampering along the branches, heard the chirping of crickets, and even caught a glimpse of a deer drinking from a stream. But as the sun began to set and the shadows grew longer, Max realized that he had gone much farther than he had intended. He tried to retrace his steps, but the woods seemed unfamiliar in the fading light. Panic began to set in as Max realized that he was lost. He sat down on a fallen log and tried to remember what his father had taught him about survival skills. He knew he needed to find shelter and make a fire before nightfall, but he didn't have any matches or a lighter. Just when Max was starting to lose hope, he heard a rustling in the bushes. He tensed up, thinking it might be a wild animal, but as he looked closer, he saw a small figure emerge from the undergrowth. It was a fairy no bigger than his hand, with gossamer wings and a mischievous smile. The fairy introduced herself as Tilly and asked Max why he was so upset. Max explained that he was lost in the woods and didn't know how to get back home. Tilly listened patiently and then offered to help him. She took Max by the hand and led him through the woods, pointing out landmarks and signs that he had missed on his own. Together, they built a shelter out of branches and leaves, and Tilly taught Max how to start a fire using only sticks and dry grass. As they sat by the fire, eating the food that Max had brought, Tilly told him stories about the forest and its inhabitants. She showed him hidden groves and secret waterfalls, and even introduced him to a family of friendly elves who lived deep in the woods. With Tilly's help, Max was able to find his way back to his village the next day. He was tired and hungry but he felt exhilarated by his adventure and grateful for the help of his tiny new friend. From that day on, Max and Tilly became fast friends. They would meet in the woods whenever Max had free time, and Tilly would show him new wonders and secrets of the forest. Max never forgot the lessons he had learned on his adventure and he was forever grateful to Tilly for showing him the way home.